The first time we're hearing the 911 call as a Florida State fraternity pledge lay dying. Nine people, nine people are facing hazing charges in connection to the death of Andrew Coffey. And his lifeless body was discovered after a night of drinking. The call reveals that other students at the party tried to revive him with chest compressions. First Coast News' Juliet Dreyer joins us live in the newsroom now with the new details. Juliet. The call lasts nearly 11 minutes and it is at times difficult to listen to. You can hear multiple people in the background at times gasping or sighing. At one point, you even hear a man say, oh God, as he seems to come to grips with the fact that something was seriously wrong. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Uh, I don't have the address. I don't have it memorized. Do you think you could track the call? The call on November 3rd came from an off-campus house where members of Florida State's Pi Kappa Phi fraternity were partying the night before. 20-year-old pledge Andrew Coffey was unresponsive. We had a party last night and my friend passed out on the couch on his side. Mm -hmm. And um, his, his lips are purple. His body's extremely stiff, and he's, I can't wake him up, and I, I, I honestly, I don't feel a pulse. Okay. Paramedics were on their way, the 911 operator said, but in the meantime, they should try to revive him themselves. Are you right by him right now? I'm standing right over him. The operator instructs the caller to move coffee to the ground. We're going to do yeah. chest compressions while the paramedics are on the way, okay? For the next few minutes, the operator coaches the men on the other line through chest compressions. The call ends as medics arrive on scene. All right. All right. They can, they can. Thank Stay you. there with you. I'll let you go, sir. A medical examiner ruled Coffey died from alcohol poisoning. His blood alcohol level was 0.447 during his autopsy, but estimated to be around 0.558 at the time of his death. That's nearly seven times the legal limit to drive. According to our news partners at the Tallahassee Democrat, court records say Coffee drank an entire bottle of bourbon. Coffee's death sent shockwaves across FSU's campus, with President John Thrasher suspending all Greek activities days later. Earlier this week, Thrasher partially lifted that suspension to allow philanthropy and recruitment. An alcohol ban remains in effect. FSU's Pi Kappa Phi chapter has since been shut down. Nine members of that fraternity have been arrested in connection with Coffee's death, charged with felony hazing. Live in the newsroom, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.